What was so interesting was I assumed coming into it that the big manufacturers, companies like ES&S and Dominion, had provided these machines to the hackers to, you know, field test them. But no, it turns out there's an extremely hostile relationship there and that ES&S and Dominion and other companies have basically said we don't want to participate and, and really have, have been quite aggressive in, in saying we don't want to be part of this. So the organizers were reduced to finding these machines on eBay, which right there is pretty terrifying because it turns out that anybody can buy some of the most common machines in use on eBay. What was really alarming was when you see these hackers, and these are people who've never seen these machines before, have had no practice on them for the most part, come in and, and engage them, they immediately get into the guts of them. Um, beyond that, uh, we were seeing Dominion's image cast system. It's a line of tabulators that paper ballots are fed into. That had its guts all over the room. It was not clear to us whether this was the most recent version of the image cast hardware, um, but it's important to know that Georgia just spent over a hundred, or is about to spend over a hundred million dollars on a contract with Dominion to provide image cast hardware to the state in time for the 20 uh, for the for the next primaries and for the 2020 election and yet here these kids were who had opened it up they said look you can pop the front off of it and here's a port you can get into right here that's easy you know all kinds of stuff that that you could certainly do within six minutes behind a curtain much less uh, if you had extra time because any of these were uh, connected to the web as we discovered a couple of days before um, so many of them are